about a year ago, Mr. Martini and I were in Northwest Colorado, and we came across something that we found very disturbing today on Colorado Martini Living. It's taken me a year of research to figure out what we saw at a horse refuge just outside of Craig, Colorado. Around Labor Day last year, Mr. Martini and I decided to take a venture up to Northwest Colorado. We were actually there to film the Sand Hill Cranes. And while we were there, we came across all these wonderful places to see and film. So we did find the Sand Hill Cranes, but we also found out that there was this horse refuge just outside of Craig, Colorado. So we decided one day that we were gonna go spend the entire day out there and film the wild Mustangs that populate that area. When we first got to the area, we went to the information sign that was right at the entrance. And there were some other people there for the same reason, to take pictures of the Mustangs. So we t decided to buddy up with them because we had no cell service and this was a really desolate area. So what I love about this is that we, it says that there's the three R's of unexploded ordnance awareness. So I guess that there's all these bombs that are unexploded in this area. Do you know what these are I mean what did they do you used to come out here and practice I guess yeah um, the rockets are from planes um, the 40 millimeters from uh, um, probably cannon rounds rocket debris all this on the bottom is the 40 millimeter yeah. and then what's this up on the top are you familiar with that looks like a bomb so they're all probably debris from planes. rocket debris so, okay. We continued on our way trying to find the Mustangs. We were having a lot of problems finding them. But I was really, really taken back on how desolate this area really was. It made me very, very concerned about the horses that lived there, and especially the colts. This area is very deserty. There's little water and really little food. So I am in Northwest Colorado right now at San Wash Basin. It's the horse management area um, that is managed by the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management. And this is where they have several wild mustangs um, that are descendants uh, from the wild mustangs from the wild wild west and the conquistadors. Um, so they're out here and I'm actually looking at some just to my left. Um, they have this wonderful loop that you can drive around and get into the back country um, and try to find these wild horses. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. So I've always had a thing about wild mustangs. Um, I've just always liked to seek them out and take pictures of them. Um, especially in the winter, they have these beautiful furry coats and they just have this different mannerism and look about them than a regular domesticated horse. Um, unfortunately, they seem to always put these horses and manage them in really harsh areas. So we finally found where we could get closer pictures of these horses. They're absolutely beautiful. Their manes are long and silky. You have to stay a hundred feet away from them and they don't seem to really be bothered with us but they're just you their manes are just gorgeous I've never seen manes that look like that they're just amazing they're amazing <laughs> 
So basically these horses have just been dropped off on a moonscape. I mean, do you see a ton of vegetation? So we've met some other people um, while we're looking for the horses. And uh, this lady showed me a uh, postcards that she bought in Maybell uh, that have the names of the horses to look for. Um, so on our way out, I'm gonna totally pick those up. But um, if you come out here, you definitely wanna do that. So we're driving along and we've noticed that all those white pieces that a lot of times are bones. So I'm back at the car and sure enough, there are some bones. They're just, they're everywhere. You think that's a coyote? So this area, we're up on this ridge, I mean there's that looks like horse poop there, right? And that look like horse poop there amongst the bones. Everywhere you walk, I mean, I'm seeing bones all over the place. Like this is a feeding area for something. But I'm also seeing a lot of the horse poopy. I mean, here's some more bones. And more bones. Bones. It's kind of freaky. There's like bones everywhere. All this white that you're seeing out in this field. Those are all bones. This whole field is like littered with them. I mean, over here are some spines. This is like really creepy. There's, they're all over here. Something brings its prey here, or I totally have to figure it out. No matter where I look, I'm seeing bones. I mean, as far as my eye can see. The whole bone yard thing is just, it's really freaky. They're just... The bones are everywhere, and they're definitely a small animal. And when you look at their the skulls that you find, I mean, look up bleach. Talk about bleached bones. Um, when you take a look at the skulls and you look at the teeth, um, they're not meat eaters. So it's not like they're dead coyotes. And there's horse poop everywhere. It's almost like these are baby horses. And then you know you're in a very desolate place when you come across bones. I'm assuming that these are horse bones. Um, whatever it was, it wasn't that big. After we returned from our trip, I contacted the BLM and the Wild Horse Warriors for the sand wash basin to see if I could find out what the bones were all about. I sent both organizations my footage and GPS coordinates and after a year both confirmed this is what is called a sheep camp. So what's a sheep camp? Well, to my surprise, it turns out that in the United States West, we have nomadic sheep herders. The story goes, around the 1850s, some Basque families came to California during the gold rush days. After the gold rush, they turned to sheep herding and expanded throughout the American West. Today, some of these Basque Americans are still raising sheep and they live a nomadic life. 
in their distinctive wagons, living off the land. When I first heard this was a sheep camp, all that went through my head was these sheep herders slaughtering these animals one by one and just leaving their bones behind. But it turns out that these sheep and the sheep herder were victims of a horrible blizzard that hit Colorado more than 20 years ago. This horrible blizzard stranded the sheep herder and his flock in this barren place and it killed most of his sheep. But he survived. What did you think of the wild horses? Um, what I've discovered is that the wild horses are kind of like the hippies of the animal kingdom. Um, they moved out to the desert, they grew their manes long, they quit wearing shoes. <laughs> Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.